It's attracting <laughs> Look, even an old man like me. I take the back <laughs> Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. The performance today I'll be reacting to a Medida answering a question why do muslim women have to wear the veil or hijab wow this indeed is a powerful question i believe we all are going to learn a lot from this so let's start with the video I've been told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form of oppression because why should they have to cover themselves um, because of the weakness of men? Shouldn't they be treated with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Okay. I think Mary, the mother of Jesus. Madam, Madam, your Bible says, your holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head. That the woman who doesn't cover, shave off her hair. Your Bible wow. says that. I really have to do more research on this. The woman, the woman who bears her hair, says shave them off. Shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches. They don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street. And people just walk by looking the fun. Say, oh, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. No, no. I said, you are inviting it. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, Roman Catholic Church. Nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your Gold Coast, that's just Carbaro and all that with bikinis and tangas and G-strings. <laughs> look. This, this is the truth. It's attracting, <laughs> look, even an old man like me. Might <laughs> take a, like, well, this is really very educative. If, if I went there, I tell you, I'll be burning inside. <laughs> I'm telling you, look, this is the nature of man. God made us like that. The thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know you. The Quran says, the Quran says, Zujina lin nasi hubbu shahwati min an nisa. Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, min an nisa. Women. Wal banin. Then sons. You know, I got 11 sons. I can make my own football team. You know how, how, you know, it makes me feel proud. I got 11 sons, you know, my own football team, my own cricket team. Wal banin. And number three, wal qanatir al mukantarat min al zahbi wal fidda, and hoarded heaps of gold and silver, and wealthy land, and horses branded for excellence, and all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Women. Number one, women. The Quran says the thing that allures man most on this earthly existence is woman. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban. I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay. okay. We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. You know, lorries, lorries, trucks. We call them trucks here too? Trucks. We call them trucks. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. Then G North, they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking these Westerners, I said, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with the second hand <laughs> the tractor? Except the man. You see, the woman is being dangled, so he'll read the advert. And BMW, I don't know you have BMWs here. It's a motor car, it's a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes Benz. I'm not in a market for it. You see, I started with the Volkswagen Beetle, 
I did 120,000 miles and I had to change for another beetle and another beetle and another beetle. Then they stopped making the beetle, you know, false fucking beetle. They started the golf, so I had to buy golf number one, golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW, but I am forced to read this advert in my newspaper. I see a BMW motor car okay. and with a woman in the skimpy, skimpiest of bikini, what you call the tanga, <laughs> you know, the G-string. She, she's standing in front of the motor car and it's, it's written at the bottom, test drive her now. <laughs> Wow, this is misinformation. I'm asking, I'm asking the woman of the car. The woman is buying the car. And the her is underlined. Test drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is the Westerner. He sells his mother, his wife, his daughter. His wife is a star. And she's being mangled on the screen, simulating rape. And they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated. It's not real rape, but you know, it's simulated. You can see everything about it. She's being raped, your mother, your wife, your daughter. And you enjoy, your wife is a star. <laughs> so, sick, sick. No, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God. We haven't come to that sickness yet, we Muslims. We try, we try to keep away from it. This is your pleasure, your privilege. We have no right to force you. But we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price. Wow. 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 What an amazing message you can tell. This indeed is really very educative. You can tell this video has really made us to understand that I'm a did that is really a very intelligent man and i really love the answers the answers i'm a did that gave and from this video i really understand a lot i really learned a lot because indeed this video is really very educative and i would like to read out some few points hijab does not mean that you are not like other women it means that you choose to to save yourself from other social evil so this video have made me to understand that hijab does not mean that you are not like other women. Hijab does not make you look less beautiful. Hijab does not make you look ugly. But hijab protects. It means that you choose to stay safe from, from other social evil. Hijab wearing an hijab means you, true to, you choose to stay safe from sh other social evils. And there are a lot of social evils which... A good example is the issue of rape. You can tell even in the video I made that was explaining that one thing that allures a man or one thing that attracts them that attract a man them is you know a woman because it's very difficult, be it a young man or a old man, it's very difficult for you to see a lady passing by, you know, opening a body and for you to see a, a, a guy or a young man that will be able to resist such things. You know, a lot of men out there or a lot of guys out there, they don't have self-control. It's not even a matter of self-control. They can be easily, they can easily be attracted to such things. So as a lady wearing a hijab can, you know, keep you or protect you from social evils. And... Hijab provides a sense of security to a woman. It increases her confidence because she knows that she is well covered and can move around. Hijab provides a sense of security to women, as we have learned in the video. Hijab provides a sense of security to women. It means that it makes a woman confident that she knows that if she is walking around the streets or if she is passing around a place where there are a lot of men, it makes her safe. It protects her. It makes her have that confidence that she won't be harmed. You know? Because she's not attracting the men. She's not seducing the men. It gives her the confidence that she's protected. She's safe. Which Amadida gave us an example, an example in the video that just like the Catholic 
just like in Catholic Church, you see the way they norm, the way they dressed, it will be very difficult for you to see, for you to see maybe an issue whereby you, you hear uh, uh, that a norm was raped, or it will be very difficult for you to hear something like that because of the way they are dressed. And I did that also made reference to the Bible, made reference to the Bible, I think in the book of, let me, it's like I jotted it down, it made reference to the Bible in the book of 1 Corinthians, in the book of 1 Corinthians 11, 16, 1 Corinthians 11, 16, on how the Bible advised the women to always, you know, cover themselves while they are dressing. And if you are a woman and you know that you are not ready to cover yourself, you should shave your head. I think it made, that was the Bible verse it made reference to the book of 1 Corinthians 11, 16. And I did that also made reference to the Quran, advising the, made reference to the Quran. So, women putting on an hijab is a commandment in the Quran. It's a commandment in the Quran. So, there's a need for all women to wear the hijab. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not fashion. It's something they have been, they have been commanded to do. So, this is really very important. So, if a woman is well covered, if a woman is well covered, she can move around easily in areas which are congregated by men. So if a woman is well covered, she has that confidence, she can move around freely in areas where there are a lot of men and she won't be harmed because she is well covered. So if you look at it, a lot of crime right now in the society, most especially the crime of rape, is because of the way the women are dressed so i believe this video is really very educative i've learned a lot from this video so i would also love to hear your comments what do you think what do you think is the reason why women should put on an hijab and do you think it's only the women the muslim women that you know should put on hijab or all women in generally should put on hijab to give them security and protect them from social evil so don't forget Click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Love you. Bye.